One of the key objectives of the Australasian Antarctic expedition was to deliver teams of scientists to Mawson's hut at Cape Denison. But to get there, we're going to have to cross 65 kilometers of the most brilliantly white but hostile ice scape on the planet. Mate, that is just bloody sure? We've been going just over two hours now. We're just over 40 kilometers from the Shakalski, where we started about 6.30 or so this morning. Um, we estimate about another 25 kilometers to go. We're making great progress. We only stopped about 10 minutes ago and, and connected up the second Argo. Up to that point, uh, the going has been incredibly good and there's barely been any snow cover. And the Argo we're actually in at the moment, the track one is, is just doing so well. Um, it's certainly something to remember for next time is <laughs> we'll have all the Argos tracked. It's definitely the way to go. Well, the Australasian Antarctic Expedition of 2013-14 finally made it to Mawson's Hut. It's right here behind me. We've just cleared the entrance to Mawson's hut, so let's go in and take a look. There was a large amount of snow and ice that blocked the door. The guys have done a great job. It takes a while just to adjust your eyes for a moment, so I'll go in a bit slowly. It's a porch. Double door system. This is a workroom. There's not a lot actually of the original gear in here. And taking this door through to the right is the main living and cooking area. Gosh. Oh, that's the acetylene plant that produced light for the expedition. Storage area. That's the kitchen stove and food preparation area. There's still quite a lot of um, ice and snow in here actually. Some leftover food by the looks of it. Old drinks, Imperial Stout, McKinley's malt whiskey. That's Frank Hurley's dark room and in there is uh, written in pencil near enough is not good enough and you can see the letters and initials of people members of a team and where they stayed this is actually where the main table was with the guys all ate their food and here's what's known as Hyde Park Corner and uh, on these bunks, Belgrave Ninnis and Xavier Mertz, the two men who tragically died on this expedition. And if we just go around here, and it's very dark, it's very dark. You can just see that faint shadow. That's Mawson's bed. <laughs> we won't bother going in there. After a four hour journey crossing the uh, sea ice with lots of unknowns, we actually got into Mawson's hut, which was a major relief. Uh, we tweeted immediately and it was sent around the world that we got here, but uh, it was a heck of a journey. 
<laughs> you can look behind me and you can see the sea ice and that should all be open ocean and we should have roaring calabatic winds coming right past us and instead we've got this glorious sunshine it's about three to four degrees at the moment and it's almost breathlessly calm so all in all it's been a fantastic day we've been very busy opening up the Mawson hut and then allowing the Mawson hut foundation conservation team to get in there and we've been working across the landscape collecting samples mapping and uh, just trying to get as much done in the time we've got and uh, it's just a huge relief to actually be here. <laughs>